Why? You could have gone there, mm, there, or even here, man. Why specifically always on my bike tires? Hey, baby dog, tell me. Hey, what happened? I don't know. It's a dog or a water balloon, bro. Always peeing on my bike tires. Poor creature, dude. Leave it. Uh, just now I wash my bike, bro. Again, I have to. Hey, see, communication is very important with each and every being. Likewise, dogs communicate with urine. Yes. Let me explain. Dogs have a habit of peeing on tires. Well, this behavior is not random. What if I told you, tires are like the social media of dogs' world? Hey, social media? Yes. Just like people leave posts or tags on social media to share information. When a dog pees on a tire, it's basically creating a profile. Think about it. That little pee carries all the details like what breed it is, whether male or female, and even whether they are single or ready to mingle. Pee? Messages? Doesn't make sense, right? There's some secret signs happening every time a dog pees on a tire. It's all about pheromones. This is pheromone. Okay, these are pheromones. You can find them in sweat, urine, and even in saliva. These guys are chemically responsible for the secret communication between animals. In fact, these pheromones in urine carries the messages that dogs leave behind for the other dogs. For example, let's say there's a dog in street A. It goes around marking its territory by peeing on objects. So, if another dog from street B comes here, it notices the smell of the other dog and walks away. Not only this, dogs express emotions like love, anger, and even mating signals. Dogs pee on vertical surfaces such as lampposts, walls, and tires too. They prefer vertical surfaces because urine does not dry out easily, keeping the scent fresh for a longer period. And why does this happen on tires? Tires move everywhere, picking up scents from different places. Smelling this, dogs get interested and would want their scent up there too. So they put up their posts and this keeps continuing. Moreover, rubber holds on to the smell for a longer period and they are perfect for keeping the scent fresh and spreading them effectively. So each time a dog sniffs a tire, he's checking out the profiles out there. Like who's been there, what's new, any visitors, and if there's a catch or there's no match. I guess now you would have understood how tires act like social media or even matchmaker for dogs. This pheromone magic doesn't end with dogs. Most of the animals use pheromones for communication. Sometimes, an animal would just pick another animal's pheromone to perform a deadly romantic trick. The way female American boa spider uses the love scent of certain moths to trick the male moths into their webs so they can trap and eat them. This is not over yet. A few plants also use this kind of trick. Not only do some orchids look like bees, they are also able to imitate female bees' sex pheromones to attract males. And when males hit on them, assuming it's a female, the pollen grains get stuck to their body and annoyingly, the pollen is distributed by them. Hearing all these, you might wonder, can pheromones score you a date? Actually, humans have pheromones too. Certain companies that produce perfume for men claim that their product contains pheromone from animals such as deers and pigs. Sadly, pheromones are species specific, so humans can't detect pheromones of animals in perfumes. Moreover, animals have specialized organs for detecting pheromones called Jacobson's organ, like the one for this dog right here. That's how the animals sense chemicals and act accordingly. But in human, scientists say that the Jacobson's organ is not functional anymore. So the next time when you see a dog pee, just understand that he's marking territory, signaling danger, or maybe even leaving love signals for a mate to follow. 